Okay, so what we got is a data storage. DVD, writable DVD player, model GS AH11N. What we're going to do is take this apart and see what kind of engines it got in it. What kind of engine it has in it. Taking apart a DVD CD player. Oops. Some batteries would be nice, huh? Okay, usually it's these four screws to start out with. Some nice little ribbons. Well, my aim is to find uh, motors and stuff for 3D printers. You can use this as an idea on how to take this stuff apart. <clears throat> you got a nice little laser beam. Eyeball. I did see somebody make a little teeny tiny uh, 3D printer using the shaft in here and these engines. Anyways, let's see here. What else do we have to take that apart? More screws or what? That's regular screws, but it's smaller than the thing is. So I need a small screwdriver. That sucks. I don't really have one of those handy. Unless. Sucks as they use Phillips heads and some other kind of screw head. Okay, so there we go. We got a little engine that doesn't say what it is. Well, that's bogus. Not good at all. This says IFX five eighty. That sucks. I'm very interested in knowing the names of these engines. They're not going to have the names on them. That is going to suck.
stupid idiots. as if I have a uh, screw smaller than I have a screw for. That sucks. Oh, I found something that fits it, I guess. All right. My trusted little Allen ring mouse head seems to have the right size. Good. after I get done with screwing the damn things. This one here again does not have any information on who made it. Nidec board on the back. Maybe that has a clue. I don't know. It looks like there's one more engine in here. And it's stuck right here. Which looks like it's just clipped in here. It's belt driven, it's got name and on it. And it's hooked to some kind of board. Okay, so that's what you're about ended up with. There's cogs and stuff in there if you want to get that stuff. Want the laser beam? You gotta take this little plastic. And you got the laser beam and the little thing that was running on. And what you got is a case. You still got that. That's called the muscle. Yes, right there. If you wanted them. Anyways, next thing I do will probably be that hard drive laying there. Oh. 
Oh, I found something that fits it, I guess. All right. My trusted little Allen wrench head seems to have the right size. Good. after I get done unscrewing the damn things. This one here again does not have any information on who made it. Nidec board on the back. Maybe that has a clue. Oh no, it looks like there's one more engine in here. And it's stuck right here. Which looks like it's just clipped in here. It's belt driven, it's got name and on it. And it's hooked to some kind of board. Okay, so that's what you're about ended up with. There's cogs and stuff in there if you want to get that stuff. Want the laser beam? You gotta take this little plastic. And you got the laser beam and the little thing it was running on. And what you got is a case. You still got that. That's called muscle. Yes, right there. If you wanted them. Anyways, next thing I do will probably be that hard drive laying there.